Hello, everybody. I hope everybody is doing fantastic, well, smiling, or if they're not smiling, then frowning or whatever you do. Um, whenever I get into a conversation with people, I ask real questions. I will not ask a fake question. Um, I don't know how to placate people. I don't know how to be extremely polite. That is not in me. I mean, I'm not going to try to be overtly disrespectful. Never is that my intent. However, I will ask you something personal, and if you don't feel uh, that that is an appropriate question, or you do not want to answer the question, then you just state it. The reason I'm bringing this up, because when I get into dialogues with people, sometimes I want to know stuff, like um, if a woman is not black and she goes onto a black man's channel, I'm going to ask, do you date black men? Because I want to know why you're here. That's just me. I want to know. So, you know, it, it, maybe you just like black people or you want to gravitate to black people or you want to talk to black people or whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm always curious to that, whatever the case may be. Okay. I'm going to go on a tangent and hopefully it makes sense. I may just ramble for a while and say some nonsense, but I, fuck, I'm digressing on it. Shout out to ABL. I never really shot people out, but fuck it. I'm going to start shouting out channels that people like. Even if I don't agree with you, I respect you, so I'm going to shout you out. Um, if you're a conservative black person or you're a conservative person anyway and you want to hear um, views on the conservative side, even if you agree or disagree, then Anthony Brian Logan's channel is a great channel to check out. Um, I, I will recommend him. I think that he is... Um, for me, he's entertaining. You may not find him as such. Um, you may totally disagree with him and think he's um, need to get the fuck out of here, whatever the fuck you may think. But I think it's worth checking out. Um, okay, now back to what I'm talking about. Sometimes I get into hangouts. I, I enjoy hangouts. And I enjoy talking to my brothers, man. Um, I will vote for President Gray. He needs to be the president. You guys don't know who I'm talking about, but the president knows who I'm talking about, so that's another thing. But um, if you go to certain channels that I um, love to participate in, um, I, I extremely love the hangouts that BGS gives. If you don't know who BGS is, well, then you need to find out. But um, sometimes the hangouts are so great. I mean, it'd be like eight hours of hangouts, like eight hours of continuous um, intellectual debate. And it, it's such a learning experience and so many different perspectives that um, when you're uh, involved in them, you don't even notice the time is passing because it, become, it can become so... Um, he did so interesting that man, his second ago was one hour, and you look up at the clock, and now it was eight hours. They run so long that sometimes um, the, the, the stream will end, but we'll still keep going on the hangout. So uh, a lady called in to, uh, or she didn't call in, or she clicked in at the end, and uh, she had some interesting points of view. And I, I enjoyed having a dialogue with her because um, you know she she was throwing some good some. She was stand fast in whatever view she felt, and you know me. I love people who are opinionated and they can express their opinion and stuff like that. But see, I'm not gonna try to give the the, the, the privacy of the conversation away. But then I asked a, a question that was pertinent to me, and come to find out, the lady was not black. And it's a, you know, it's not it's primarily black, but it's not it's not exclusive or or, or uh inclusive or, or won't include people of other groups because anybody is free to partake in it because, you know, I'm going to speak about black people. One thing about most black people that I know, we love all people. Now, we may, people can be pro-black, people can be primarily for um, the black cause, but it doesn't mean they don't appreciate and it doesn't, and it doesn't mean that, that they want to, they do not want to associate with people who are non-black because they enjoy the dialogue, they enjoy the growth, and most people who are, are considered African American or black are for the uh, promotion of, of positivity and constructive interaction, if at all possible. So that's, you know, it's, it's going to happen. So people should always feel free, if you're, you, even if you don't feel like you're part of the group, to get into the group, because we will accept you. You know, most black people will see a white baby and take care of it and treat it like their own and raise them like their own child because we don't want to see people suffer. You know, that's just, I think, as a collective, that's how black people think. And, I, you know, there's a lot of black people out there that probably have a lot of animosity um, that are, you know, um, 
because of the system of white supremacy, they feel that um, uh, they, they can't show um, appreciation of the groups. But um, I will say people like that are in the minority and the, and the average African American, the average black person um, wants to show love to everybody and they try to not be discriminatory, meaning they try not to um, ostracize somebody from not looking or growing up in the same culture, environment, or group or being from the same ethnic ethnic situation, but I digress again. So, I really, this is the question I'm going to ask. I don't know if this is going to make sense in the video. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, when is a question inappropriate? That's what I want to know. Because like if somebody asks, like I may ask um, a question that's really um, personal. And then people want to say it's inappropriate, but for me, I want you to say, you oh, know, that's personal. I don't want to answer that. I can accept that. However, I'm I'm not going to not ask a question. Like I, I, I may ask you your sexual orientation. I may ask you, are you transgender? I may ask you, do you mind having? Uh, are you exclusive when it comes to your sexual activity or interactions? Do you only stay with a, a certain ethnic group, or do you um, involve yourself with other groups? I mean, it is what it is. Me, you know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I don't care what you think. I'm gonna do what Chuck does. So you don't have to like what I'm saying. You can hate me shoot me down, talk bad shit to me. I'm so oblivious to you people. And when it comes to slaying words, I'm, I think I'm great. So, you know, if you say something extremely dumb to me, I will address it. I will tell you that you're, what you're saying is dumb. You may not be dumb. You could be dumb. You could be stupid as fuck, for all I know. But I'm, I'm not going to call you that until you show it to me. I will always show people respect. Um, hmm, I'm about to start an argument here. Um, me. I'm, like, I love Alan Roger Curry's Mo One. And I, I'm not talking about Mo One as far as when it comes to being with the ladies. I'm talking about Mo One philosophy in life. And um, Alan probably could argue and say that you got to be a certain way to be Mo One. Um, me, I would say as long as you are direct and are respectful, you're Mo One. So Alan may say you got to whisper in a girl's left ear. And I, I can get that. Me, um, however you do you is you. I can't. I, how can I tell Mo One how to be Mo One? But I think I'm Mo One with every damn thing I do. So I don't understand any other shit. Um, really, I, I just like the, the term Mo One. I was before I knew the term, I was Mo One. So I just apply it to who I am in the first place. Because you, if you fuck with me, you know who the fuck I am. I'm not, I'm not gonna bullshit you, and I'm not gonna talk about shit I don't want to talk about. And if a girl deals with me, any woman in general, you know what the fuck I'm about. I'm about busting nuts. Fuck it. I'm gonna tell you what it is. I, Charles likes to bust one, and um. Anybody look at this video, fucking with me, you know who you fucking with. That's it. I'm, I'm going a little off. I love a little cursing. YouTube can take me out, shoot me down. I don't care. I'm a pretty simplistic brother. Um, I'll say some other nonsense. That well, not nonsense. This is gonna be on sense. Um, how I feel. Um, most people really never get into this dialogue, but I want you to understand. Uh, monogamy, monogamy, is not natural for either men or women. It's not. However, we can choose to be monogamous. I've chosen to be monogamous. I can choose to be monogamous at any time. But I don't ever want somebody to force me to be monogamous. And a lot of people get into forced monogamous situations. And that's when I think that is horrible. When a man or a woman who wants to, if a woman wants to be a slut, a man wants to be a slut, um, then be sluts. And don't ever not be a slut for somebody else. If you choose to be not be a slut, then don't be a slut. That's on you. That's you to choose. I'm not going to shame you for being a slut. I'm not going to try to guilt you into being an I'm slut. However, if you don't want to be slutty, men or women, or whatever, whoever you are, understand that uh, there are repercussions with your actions. So if you want to go out there and slut around, and then you get pregnant, or men or women, you get a woman pregnant, because men don't get pregnant, so I hate when I hear, we're having a baby. No, you're having a baby, bitch. You are having a baby. I got you pregnant. I'm going to be a father. That's my baby. She's having my baby. But we're not having a baby. You're having a baby. My girl is pregnant. My wife is pregnant. Um, some girl I was fucking is pregnant. She got pregnant. I got her pregnant. But we're not having a baby. She's having a baby. We will have a child together. We will have a baby together. We made a baby together. But she's having a baby. <laughs> I'm just being silly. I'm going on a little long ramble rant tangent. And uh, the reason I started this, I said uh, inappropriate questions. And I'm not going to call no names, but brothers, you need to call me out. I don't really think I said anything inappropriate. Do you think I said something inappropriate when I asked my question? Say, Charles, don't say that. But Charles is going to say that shit anyway. And you know what? You pull my coattail because when I'm feeling good, you know, I'm sipping on a, I don't know what I did with it. That was a, uh, a 
19.9% beer by the brewery. I got to the last, but it, it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't Black Tuesday. It was called Peanut Butter and Thursday. It was a uh, 19.9% Imperial Stout with peanut flavor added, and it was delicious. And I sipped on it all day. So the inebriation effect was slow, and you know I may be at this time somewhat intoxicated, but I'm not intoxicated to the point that uh, I'm not coherent and I may, I may not be concise like Charles would normally be but I'm still the shit <laughs> fucking rap job yeah oh that was right woohoo shit the shit the shit I'm joking <laughs> I hope everybody's feeling great man I'm just having fun spitting my nonsense out there uh, you know I hope you enjoy whatever the fuck I'm saying if I'm saying some dumb shit Say, dude, you are fucking stupid and you should not talk. If I'm saying some shit that you can kind of get down with and say, fuck it, dude, you was on some point. I'm fucking fucking with you because, Chuck, you put it out there. I am not um, opposed to the curse words. I just let them roll. Motherfucker shit, goddamn asshole. Cuss words just like this. I'm gonna fuck you, goddamn shit, that bitch. <laughs> I'm not fucked up too short. But hey, you get what I'm saying, right? Um, I hope that you guys feel great. I hope that you love somebody. Um, I hug myself all the time. And if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. And um, you know what? People got to learn to be more honest. Um, uh, I have a friend, the unicorn of the internet, the unicorn jewel. Uh, she, he, or her, whatever. I'm joking. But uh, I'm trying to be, like, not put somebody on the spot. But the conversation was people should be honest all the time. And I say it's impossible to be completely honest all the time because people don't want honesty. You don't want to hear somebody say that you are ugly as fat as fuck because that's going to hurt your feelings. Nobody wants to hear, you are fucking ugly. You are fucking ugly. You know, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody, no married person wants to hear, damn, baby, I can't wait to fuck that chick over there, but I'm not because I'm with you. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> you don't want to hear a dude tell you that I want to run up in another chick. You don't want to hear that. No. But men think it and women think it. You know, that's what happens. Now, people will lie and say, I don't never had those feelings. Well, maybe you never have because you're a prude. And I mean, that's what it is. But the average person, the average person is like, yo, Shavar Moore, Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Tania Latham, Adele. She's a bigger chick, but they'll still say Adele. Madonna. You know, whoever they choose. You know, Molly Cyrus, so some crap. No, I'm, 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 I'm joking. I'm joking, dude. How'd she do with the long tongue? I can't, my tongue ain't that long. It's still lick, though. <laughs> I, hope <everybody, laughs> oh, I hope everybody feels great, man. I hope everybody's feeling great and loving life and laughing their ass off because life's too short to be angry. Uh, this is probably going to be the longest video that I've done ever. Right. I'm going to stop this. Take care. Have fun. Uh, if you don't know what Mo 1 is, you need to learn how to be Mo 1. Um, that's my belief. Uh, BGS says everybody shouldn't be Mo 1. However, I disagree. You should be mo one up to a point because uh, I'd rather you tell me what exactly you want from me and I'm going to tell you exactly what I want from you other than we wasting time trying to figure that shit out because that is a waste of my time and I could be playing Zelda Breath of the Wild instead of trying to fuck with you. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Hope everybody feels great. Take care.